The Subaru BRZ is equipped with a newly designed boxer engine, FA20. The FA20 engine is a sportier version of the new FB20 engine, with a more powerful output and a higher running speed. The FA20 engine allows the new BRZ to be fun to drive while still conforming to the environmental requirements for fuel consumption and emissions. Changes include a new bore stroke ratio as well as some other fundamental design modifications. By adopting an RWD drivetrain, the new design features a lower mounting position of the power unit layout. Various arrangements to the rear, now close to the center of the vehicle body, have also been realized. This emphasizes the low center of gravity of the boxer engine and has made possible to improve the agility of the vehicle, while at the same time providing better stability. Not only the main engine unit, but also the auxiliary equipment and other components are lighter and arranged in a more compact layout, so that the overall height of the engine has been kept as low as possible. Adopting the D4S, Direct and Port Fuel Injection System, with a completely unique fuel injection system, enabled us to realize high levels of achievement in both environment-friendly performances and high performance output, with 100 PS per liter of displacement. D4S is a dual fuel injection system utilizing DEI, direct injection, and conventional port injection in combination, to ensure optimum combustion under all load conditions of the engine. This configuration resulted in an increased output, as well as a more precise control of the fuel injection quantity and timing. This system is already being mass-produced for other companies, and it has also been adapted for the BRZ. In the original D4S system adopted previously by other companies, the maximum fuel pressure of the DI was approximately 13 MPa. In the D4S system of the BRZ, the DI maximum fuel pressure has been increased to 20 MPa, which resulted in a higher fuel injection control performance. On the other hand, the fuel injection configuration of the port injection system on the low pressure side has also been refined, and the mixture formation has also been improved. An optimal use of these two systems together has made possible to widen the range in a homogeneous combustion process from low speeds to high speeds and from low loads to high loads and has also made possible to achieve a well-balanced combination of the stratified combustion process without introducing any airflow control devices such as the tumble generating valve and the swirl control valve. Let's now take a closer look at the direct injection system. The high-pressure fuel injection pump installed on the left-hand side of the engine is driven by the pump cam on the intake camshaft, and it pressurizes and sends fuel to the left and the right fuel rail to inject it via the injectors. The high-pressure fuel pump has a built-in solenoid valve for an optimum adjustment of the fuel pressure and to supply a certain amount of fuel. This is the so-called electromagnetic spill valve, and it is controlled by the ECM and driven by the high voltage received from the EDU. The pressurized fuel goes through a check valve and is supplied to the fuel rail and the injectors. The relief valve controls abnormal pressure. The fuel rail has a fuel pressure sensor installed. The fuel pressure is detected and the feedback control is performed. Now let's see the conventional port injection system. The fuel pump is mounted in the fuel tank, and this pump is also used for the supply of fuel to the high pressure fuel system. The pump has a built in type of fuel pressure regulator. Fuel is supplied through the fuel piping, injectors are installed on the intake manifold directly before each cylinder and the optimum amount of fuel is injected according to the ECM commands. The injectors have been improved to spray with a finer atomization to reduce the fuel touch on the intake manifold wall. 
This results in a more stable air and fuel mixture rate. The FB20 engine has a long stroke configuration of 84 mm by 90 mm. The FA20 engine has been redesigned with a square configuration of 86 mm by 86 mm to achieve good performances in high speed driving with quick response and a good torque in the medium and low speed range. The piston has a special surface treatment on the skirt portion to prevent damages at high speeds. The new crown surface design suits perfectly the combustion chamber used by the D4S system. The compression ratio has a high spec of 12.5. The connecting rod has been redesigned with a weight reduction corresponding to the engine high speeds and the stiffness of the big end has been improved to meet the requirements of a higher output. The location of the BRZ power unit is optimized to meet the BRZ concept and its center of gravity is set in a lower position further back near the vehicle center. The intake direction of the air to the engine for Subaru conventional vehicles was from the rear side. In case of the BRZ, the intake air flows to the engine from the front side, thanks to the reduced airflow resistance of the RWD engine layout. By adopting this layout together with an increased throttle valve diameter from 60 mm to 65 mm, the total airflow resistance could be reduced by 20% in comparison to the FB20 engine. To further lower the center of gravity of the engine, the height of the intake manifold was reduced by 65 mm. The exhaust system has also been redesigned with a new power unit layout in a lower position further back and the height of the front part of the exhaust pipes just after the engine has been reduced by 90 mm using a more compact method of manufacturing. To reduce exhaust interference, the exhaust pipe assembly layout has been constructed into the 421 collecting pipe system. The AVCS controlling the intake and exhaust valves and determining the optimum timing according to the driving conditions is adopted into the FA20 engine as well as into the FB20 engine. By using an additional function of a holding mechanism called intermediate lock mechanism on the intake side of the FA20 engine, the control was stabilized by fixing the overlap amount of angles in a given condition. This resulted in an improved torque values and reduced fuel consumption. Various weight reduction measures have been implemented on the engine assembly. For example, integration of the ignition coil and igniter. Reduced size of the ECU body. Replacement of the plastic material for the pulleys of the V ribbon belt and more. The engine development explained above has made the following results possible in comparison with the FB20 engine. The comparison below shows the main specifications that characterize this improved performance in comparison with the FB20 engine. Thank you very much for your attention.